guess what folks listen today i'm finna keep it real simple it's the holidays and to be specific we got christmas coming up right and matter of fact i think i'm gonna release this right here on christmas day so with that being said i just want to say merry christmas to everybody out there whether you follow on this channel or not now i'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make look this is just a peppermint hot chocolate super easy we ain't always got to come up with the like the cocoa powder and all of that you know what i mean i used to like that nasty quick when i was a kid yeah it still works you know what i mean but show you how to make it on your own now i want you guys to come by here and take a look at these ingredients right i'll just go ahead and start by here here look i'm gonna put them in you know, like some mason jars that i had these are already cleaned and ready to go we got whipped cream look this right here is bittersweet chocolate right we got peppermint cane. I already crushed some of these down because we're going to put this and sprinkle this on the top, you know, for a little bit of garnish. You guys probably can't see what's inside of here right here, but this is that uh, peppermint extract. Listen, it's smelling real holidayish right now. Then we got white granulated sugar, and then guess what? Milk. Oh, you know what? Before I say whatever I was getting ready to say that was so slick, look, and then we got marshmallows. Oh, look, the marshmallows and the peppermint. As far as the cane go, this is all just about, you know, getting some kind of like garnish to make it look good. But without, with that being said, I'm not finna over talk it. I just wanna say again, Merry Christmas everybody, and let's go. Okay, so look, we gonna start off in the saucepan, right? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a, just like a low heat. And I'm gonna bring it up to, you know, get it warm to like just a slight simmer. If you guys ever worked with milk before, you do this too fast, you know, you know what'll happen, it's gonna mess up your sink. I mean, mess up your counters if you're using a cooktop like this or to mess up your uh, stove, you know? So just bring it up, take your time, be, be patient with it. And if you, I don't know if you guys can see it, I'll stand in front of it so you guys can see the flame. Look, just nice and low, right? You're gonna get, your, you wanna, wanna get yourself like a whisk. So I got that handy. And what I wanna do is just bring it up. And after I bring it up, then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look. It's just getting ready to start to simmer, right? You see the little bubbles coming up. I can see a little bit of the heat, you know, coming up off of it. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just stir it like that. And now we're gonna start introducing our chocolate. Actually, on this here, you can go ahead and add it all. And then look at it right there. You see how it just starts changing the color? Now I just keep it super low the way I have it, just like this and just keep working around till everything dissolves. Now you wanna bring your white sugar and go ahead and add that. We want that to dissolve too. You should be able to smell it. Oh man, it, it smells good. After it's completely melted, it kinda like starting to, I almost wanna say it like thickens up. It does, you can look at it and just see it's not as, you know, it's not like milk anymore. Right, so then I add my, my, my extract. It don't take much, we just wanna have a hint. Now for those of you guys that love it to be like just over the top with chocolate, you can add more. But this right here is a nice little blend and get you a couple of cups. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off, right? And I want you guys to look at it. I like my chocolate to be a little bit on the thicker side like this. I don't know, hopefully I can get you guys to see it or maybe you can see it when I do the pour. If you guys want it to be a little bit more on the, uh, I guess just more like <laughs> milky, you know, like more like a, a liquid, I'll just suggest you guys just add a couple of more, maybe like a tablespoon of uh, milk, you know what I mean? Just to thin it out just a little bit. But this right here is it. And I'm already off, you know, I turned my fire off. And now it's time to just go ahead and pour these in these glasses. All right, y'all. Now it's time to drink. So listen, I'm using mason jars. You guys can use those, you know, your holiday festivities, however you want to do it. But this is how we're going to get down right here. Now I want you to check this out. So we'll just go ahead and pour this in here like this. Look at that right there. Now that's hot chocolate, folks. All right, and then for a little whipped cream. And then we sprinkle a little peppermint up here, you know, on the top. And you can make these and put these out, especially, you know, when you got your kids, grandkids, brothers, sisters, you know what I mean? Hey, look, the mamas and daddies too, though. You know what I mean? Everybody got to get some. You put these out and this is wake everybody up, get everybody going, especially on Christmas Day. Oh, 
Okay, so look, you guys get a chance to see it. Look, the presentation's right. It doesn't matter what your skill set is. Look, we just filling up mugs, uh, jars, however you want to do it. You just fill them up, fill them up to about, at least leave one inch from the top, right? Hit it with a little Miracle Whip. And then you see how we crush this right here? Just crush that, sprinkle that over the top of that, and it'll give you great, you know, presentation. Now, with that being said, listen, I got to say this again, you guys. Hey, thank you for supporting, you know, Smoking and Grilling with AB, you know, for all of this time. Even if you're new, I just want to say thank you. Happy holidays, and to be specific, Merry Christmas. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. Woo! I'm starting to like choke up because we finna drink, folks. Cheers, and I'm out. Peace.